Hello, my name is Jay Lawrence, the General Manager for Technology Enablement here at Supermicro. Uh, today we're going to have some discussion about our 4U GPU servers and the GPUs that actually are inside and power them. Joining me, I have Chris Wong. Hi, Jay. How are you doing? He heads up our uh, GPU Solutions Group and also Carlos Weissenberg, who's the Senior Product Manager for the servers you see in front of you here that are housing these GPUs. So, let's just jump in and talk about some of the devices that are in these machines. Chris, to you. Uh, talk to us about the 7, 70, uh, 749 chassis and the GPUs you're displaying there, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, 7049 is one of our best sellers. As you can see here, this is a stand-up high-end workstation. But if it flip 90 de degrees, uh, it becomes a 4U rack mount server. Uh, this is what we do in Supermicro. We, we have all kinds of customers, and we want to provide them with selections and flexibility. In this system, since this is a PCIe-based system, you can populate four full high, full length, double wide GPUs inside based on your needs. So either it's V100, V100S, RTX 6000, or RTX 8000 is your pick. Okay, great, great. So we clearly consume an awful lot of product uh, from NVIDIA and put it into our servers to you know, optimize them and whatnot. Can you talk a bit about the product families and give us some delineations and use cases uh, in the super micro world? Yeah, sure. So this V100 and V100S are in the product line that formerly known as NVIDIA Tesla product line. They support FP64 or double precision operation and they have tensor cores so they are optimized for HPC and deep learning training applications. The RTX 6000, RTX 8000 are the newest product for NVIDIA Quadro product lines. They support RT cores which are uh, hardware acceleration for ray tracing. So it's perfect for animation creators, uh, graphic designers, whoever want to shorten their uh, rendering process, process time. Uh, these are just st some part of the GPUs that Supermicro provide. In Supermicro, what we do is we help our customer to select the right car to fit into the system for their workloads. And we validate the system and GPUs together with the drivers, firmwares that all are needed for their workloads, we want to provide the l product to our customer. We want to provide the most streamlined solution to our customer. All right, so Chris, you mentioned in talking about the product uh, families, the V100 and the V100S. Now these are really big devices. Can you delineate and d differentiate between the two, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this V100S is an upgrade version of V100. Uh, although it looks identical, but it has 25% increase in memory bandwidth that's increasing the double precision operation by 70% and single precision on um, 15%. Overall, this is a better version of the best product, PCI product that you can have for AI deep learning training in the market today. Okay, so the best just got better. That's right. All right, Carlos, can you take us through some of these uh, servers that are out of your group and talk a bit about the features and benefits and some of the novel things that we've done to make them the best? All right, I would be happy to. So we currently have from Supermicro, six 4U chassis devices that support double width GPUs. Six of the systems of the current systems are based on the Intel motherboard, and one of them is based on the AMD motherboard. These systems, as, uh, as Chris was talking about, can support eight to 10 double width PCIe based GPUs. And we, can al we also have a 4U system that can support up to 20 single width GPUs like the NVIDIA T4 GPU. And then finally, we have this system here, which supports eight SXM GPUs. These have the NVLink and have superior GPU peer-to-peer -peer communication. So given the wide range of platforms, we have give our customers wide choices based on their applications. All right, all right, great. So you mentioned Intel motherboard in one, AMD in the other. Can you walk us through some of the features and benefits of each? Okay, so with the Intel motherboards, we incorporate PCIe switches. The PCIe switches allow us to leverage the PCIe lanes from the Intel processors. And with the PCIe switches, we're able to configure these into different topologies, such as single and dual root topologies. With the AMD-based motherboard, the AMD system can support up to 100, has 160 
PCIe lanes. And with those, we're able to connect the GPUs directly to the CPUs. In addition, the AMD-based system supports PCIe Gen 4, which is twice as fast as Gen 3 technology. All right, great. So on the GPU side, how are all those interconnected? Uh, what are you know, kind of the benefits we're providing in that area? Okay, so with the PCIe-based um, technology, we're able to connect these into single and dual root topologies. And with those topologies, we can support different CPU to GPU performance, and we can support GP, different GPU peer-to-peer -peer performance, depending on the customer's applications. In addition, we have the SXM form factor that uses NVLink so that the GPUs are connected peer-to-peer, point-to-point with, with NVLink. And finally, the new system that we recently announced, our 4U supports not only NVLink, but it supports NVSwitch. And so it has, it allows us to connect these up in a switch, uh, with a switch fabric. And so with all these, uh, applic all these different configurations, we can support many different applications. Okay, it's also supporting a lot of devices, a lot of big powerful devices. Right. They get hot. Yes. How do we keep them comfortable? All right, good question. So what we've done is we've designed our systems to have different thermal zones. For example, on this one, you can see we have two drawers. We have a, a motherboard and we have a GPU board. And so what we do here is we separate out this into two different thermal zones. We have the, the thermal zones for the, for the CPUs and the thermal zones for the GPUs. And so what this allows us to do is cool them independently. It also, we're, we don't have any GPU preheating the air for the CPUs and vice versa. We don't have any CPUs preheating the air for the GPUs. So with this configuration, we can maximize the GPU and CPU performance in the system. All right, great. So um, you mentioned applications in one of your past answers. So talk about some of the applications where we're seeing this stuff used. All right. So we have wide range of customers that are using these systems. We have, for example, customers that are doing AI deep learning training. They are using this to develop natural speech recognition. They're using this for, to develop medical diagnostic technology and for autonomous driving. We also have customers doing high performance computing, such as oil and gas exploration or climate modeling. And then finally, we have a lot of customers that are doing video, video rendering for like example, media and entertainment. Okay, great, great. So in conclusion, we have the best of the breed in devices. We help our clients pick the right devices for the right packaging. We've optimized the thermals, we've optimized reuse and have created a great amount of flexibility. If you want to learn more about it, please visit www.supermicro.com forward slash GPU. Thank you.